morning everyone four days after my surgery and I thought well maybe I can sit and do like this project that I have been talking about for a long time it's uh, these planers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree notice they're no longer black I had spray painted these silver and I got two of them then I went to I think it was Michael and I bought some of these jewelries I got four of these I already had bought this stuff and um, just it was just been sitting here waiting for me to get creative. Then I picked up some of these teardrop ones. There were $1.47, you get two. Then I picked up, I think I got four of these, four of these. And then I just picked up one package of the gigantic big ones. And then I picked up some of these hooks. It's from the jewelry shop. These were two, sorry, it's a little blurry, $2.99. Had a coupon I'm sure then I have a pair of pliers I bought this mirror at the Dollar Tree some silver um, wire and this is 30 gauge wire and then the luminescence uh, candle the I wanted silver from the Dollar Tree and you get 240 hour total of lighting with these two so so I'm just gonna try to connect these I've never made one of these this is just out of the blue I was just looking for something creative to do so um, just follow me through the video and see how we do okay I'm outside and I am doing my do-it-yourself project with those planners that I purchased at the Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna show you a basic step of how I'm painting them this is my first attempt at this so I'm just trying it out so let's just do this together okay here are the planners that I had purchased at the Dollar Tree I went ahead and removed the chains from it which they're right here I remove the chains and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and paint these a um, silver color metallic silver now I'm just gonna spray them up and let this one dry it might need a couple of coats I'm actually um, going to do uh, the chains as well. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area when you use spray paint because it, you know, it's pretty strong. And then I'm just gonna help myself here, move this over, get this one real quick. So you get the basic step. I think everybody knows how to spray paint. So I'm gonna continue spray painting these, let them dry, come back, do another coat, turn it the other way, do the inside of it, and then I will continue on with my project and share it along the way with you guys. So we're going to get started. Um, I don't know how you're going to see me on this video, but I'm just going to go ahead and take it easy here and sit down and just just start uh, putting this together. I spray painted these on in silver, so I went ahead and got the silver gauge, 30 gauge um, wire. And I'm just going to wire this together in certain places, but it's... Oh, and then I took the cord out of the hooks because they usually hook up here and I went ahead and hook it down here. So I'm going to turn this around and just attach them together. But let's say this is at 12, 4, and 7, then the other ones are going to be in between that. So everything is kind of like in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and try to attach this so it's even because it can take a long time on camera and then I'll just show you how I did it. Okay, what I did here, as you can see, I attach it with that 30 gauge wire. Here's one there. I attach it in a few places and there and you can barely see it. So now it's attached together and it is not going anywhere. So I'm just going to keep on going with the beadings. Let me grab the beads and these hooks are pretty simple this is the bead and then this little circle that I bought the little hook it's really simple you just open it like this oh it's hard hmm see how I just opened it and then you just reclose it and then I'll be able to attach those to the shade so I'm gonna go ahead and bead all these up with the wires and keep going Okay, to insert this ring, which is called the 12 millimeter round jump ring, all you do, and it's really easy, you guys, it's not, you just bend it, take your little diamond, can you imagine? 
I'd say yes to that ring. Yes, girls? Yes. Anyways, and there's a little hole right here. So you just enter this right into the hole. Simple. And you can reclose it once you put it back on your lamp. So I'm going to do it again. You just open the clasp, put your bead in, and you close it once it's on. That's how easy that is. And these are uh, found in the jewelry making department at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. These were $1.49 for four of them. And I bought four packs. I bought one pack of these 12 millimeter round jump ring. They were $2.99, but you get 75, so it's plenty to do this one lamp. Now, am I gonna have enough of these and is it gonna look good? I don't know, because I've never made one. I just an idea that I had and I wanted to share with you. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, keep attaching the rings. I just wanted to show you how easy it is and then show you the product again what it is. And so I'm gonna keep on going and see where I'm at with this and then uh, keep um, filming when I attach these to the lamp. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, to recap. This item is 868232. You get four in a pack for $1.47 and it's this little diamond right here. Then I added the little uh, rings to it like that. And I'm going to go in and place them around. Then I added, you get two pieces for $1.47, sorry, this one, 875336. And I added a little ring to this one as well. And I'm going to put that around. You get um, two in a pack. So I have, I had one, two, four packs of those. So I have 16 of these. eight of these so those were the items that I purchased what I did here is I took my little rings and made a chain out of it and added it to the top right here see it right here and I added my big crystal in the middle just by doing the chains right up here in the middle I took the hooks from the basket and instead of hanging it here, because it's upside down, I went ahead and hung it up here and tried to make it equal so it doesn't um, unbalance it. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my crystals, simple, easy. Like I told you before, you just open this and you just attach them to the side. So I'm going to do that and see where we're at. So I was trying to put things on there and things were fun. So I attached it to my light in my dining room and I just let it hang there so I can hang some of my crystal because it was being a little challenging for me today. But as you can tell, I hung one of the crystal in the middle and then see the little ones there. And then I'm, I would take this mirror from the Dollar Tree and I don't need to reopen it because it will fit right inside here like this. So already, already you can see the, the shine out of the mirror and everything. So it, it's looking good. Then I want to take these bigger crystals and I want to hang those at the bottom. You just go around the, the thing and then you just let them slide down. Isn't that pretty? Makes like a little, oh you didn't see that part. There it is right there. It's just hanging. Sorry my filming is not the best today. I'm a little weak still. But I really wanted to do something. I was tired of sitting there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hang one of these at each of these um, wires from the basket because those were planar basket you guys and then I'm just going to keep going around and if I don't have enough because I think there's nine of the um, whew, nine of the uh, wires but I only have eight so yeah I won't have enough so maybe if I skip one maybe if I skip one that's what I'll do. I will do one and skip one. So no, that's not good. So I'm just going to do one and skip one. Skip and go here. Like that. And there's one already. And I look, I can attach it to my big light here. So it makes it easy for me to attach these things. And that will be pretty much, well, one of them might be closer to the other one, but you know what? It cannot always be perfect because it's uneven numbers. So maybe what I'll do later on is I'll just buy more of these and hang them up. That way it's all the way around. Oops. 
there we go and then that's how easy it is it doesn't take that long it's just taking me longer because I'm filming but that's how it would go and it just hangs just like that let's see and then you just have your crystals and then what you would do is you would add your tea light I'm not done I still have a bunch of crystals to put in but and because of this little silver tea light that's all I had at the time later on I want to get something a little different let me take this plastic out and it it's gonna go like right this so whenever it's nighttime and it glows let me see if I can shut the light and you can see a little bit of the shimmer there it goes you'll be it will shimmer in the dark so I'm gonna keep adding crystals before I show you the end results here and then you can see it and then I will videotape when it's hanging up and has all the crystals on it so hope you're enjoying this DIY project it's really super easy you're looking at under $10 here for a cute little hanging light for a little girl's bedroom or even in your own little living room. What I would recommend though is when you spray paint that you do several coats. I'm noticing as I'm touching some of the silver is coming off. But I kind of still like that look because it looks rustic for, for me right now. So I'm going to keep adding the crystal and I'll show you the end result. All right, I'm done. I've attached a big crystal here and I put the little ones up there I think that finishes it off better but and then I hung up the other big one down there look how stinking cute that is now I think it could maybe use a little bit more bling but look how cute that is just to hang up um I was thinking about maybe using this ribbon but I I don't think it's that's gonna work but I think that came out pretty good Dollar Tree basket, crystals from your craft stores, and just attach it with some wire, and I made a little chandelier. Wouldn't this be cute in a little diva's room? And I just attach it to my, and I just reuse one of the hangers from the basket. But remember, I would spray paint this a few times and let it dry. And see how, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but the light is actually catching um, the candle and the candle is from the Dollar Tree and the mirror how stinking cute is that for a project so this is my DIY project meaning link from me to you I hope you like comment and subscribe and keep watching for more DIY